What's going on folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here and our good friends at Steamforged Games are back. Now if you're unfamiliar or the name sounds familiar, you'll recall that Steamforged Games was the ones who've done all the Epic Encounter series. And I've talked about them before in the past and how really if you're looking to get into miniatures, unpainted miniatures for the first time or miniature collecting in general, that is 100% the best bang for your buck. Now they are launching a Kickstarter this Tuesday called Animal Adventures, the Fairway Sea. And I wanted to show you here is the, I'll put a link to this. This is the, uh, the Kickstarter preview link. You can go ahead and click this now. But there's been a handful of things they've released, right? So they've shown off like it's all animal themed adventures. Like check this out. There's a bear with a bucket full of tentacles of an octopus with a pet crab. And there's raccoon monster, like raccoon warriors. Here's a cool like, cat thing with an owl familiar i don't even know uh and they have a whole blog up on their website showing off some of the process for designing different minis and if you pre-order and back in full you can sign up right here you can get a free gm screen as part of it and there is actually a trailer right here that we can go ahead and click play on to show off what we've got so why don't we go ahead and listen in on this together Catching. And I'm on board. Magical Islands? The terrain here, new animals and heroes. it is. See, there's a book. You can see all the awesome minis here. 23 finely sculpted miniatures. Illustrated 5e campaign guide. Discover new treasure creatures and classes. Meet helpful friends and fearsome foes. Explore unique environments. I mean, the, the minis look amazing. Chart a course to adventure. There you go. But probably the most exciting, although that itself was exciting, is I have this. That's right, I have a preview box that the good folks at Steamforge Games sent over to me. So this says demo box right here on the bottom. So I am gonna bring it in close, but I thought we could just open it up and see what's going on. All right, so we got uh, some packing peanuts in here. And then inside looks like a variety of different, oh boy, it is. I think it's all the minis, guys. I think it's all of them. They're all wrapped up here in little bubble wraps. Yup. Oh my god, this is it. Yeah. Check it out. This is the monkey guy. Oh my god, this oh, the bear with the crab. This is like this is like me in a nutshell. I love this. Alright, so we're gonna bring it in close and take a look, but oh, what's this? There's a whole set of dice. Uh unique dice that have little paw prints on the high numbers. Okay. Oh, and wait a minute, what is this? There's something else down the bottom. I have a demo book as well. Oh, this is a demo like campaign book. The art, amazing. Um, oh, yep, and there's stat blocks here in the back. Very cool, all right, so we're gonna bring this in close and take a look. All right, I lied. Before I dive into the miniatures, I wanted to show up the other things that were included in my demo box. So I have a map here, which we can go ahead and open up which you can see is sort of a beach map. And the other side is sort of a lava volcano, and that ties into the adventure. We have these pre-generated, what is this, six pre-generated character sheets. The front side is basically just all of your kind of main abilities, and the back is kind of your features and traits with your different attacks and things along the bottom. Uh, and then we also got, uh, this, which is a demo adventure, which is a five-part adventure called The Peril of Palm Heart Island, which kind of ties into the map there. So, I, again, it doesn't. I don't have a lot of the background around the adventure, but I have the whole adventure itself, which you could run just by itself. But basically, uh, there is an island nearby that has a volcano on it, and it has since been reshaped into a skull by a goblin who has gotten uh, a very powerful magic item that allows him to craft stone. Uh, and you basically get on a boat with three characters 
Snippy the Chihuahua, Stripey the Raccoon, and Stan the Otter, and they take you basically back to their home island where this goblin, who all used to live in peace with the sentient animals, uh, has gotten sort of power hungry since he's obtained this very powerful artifact magic item. And basically you go through this, right? You make your way onto the island, then you have to travel through a flaming forest and counter things there. There's a bridge, you approach the, the Skullcano as it's become known, and then eventually you have the final showdown with the goblin, uh, and his various goblin minions. Now when you have the aftermath, so you have Snippy the Chihuahua, but you also have these goblin followers, goblin acolytes, the hellish snail, and Pukul Pisk, who is the main goblin there. But what's interesting is if you have, say, the Epic Encounters Village of the Goblin Chief set, which we've talked about already in the past, you'll have the goblin minis that you need in association with the various, you know, uh, minis you could get from this. You'll also have the snail and then the sort of chieftain as well. So if you have these, you can combine both the new set you get from uh, from all of these minis here from the Kickstarter, from uh, Island Adventures, uh, the Far Away. I might have said Fairway, it's the Far Away. Uh, but that combined with that, uh, the Epic Encounters, and then you can use all of your minis there, which is really smart move on Steamforge Games' part to integrate everything together. All right, so that is all of sort of the paperwork stuff. Now we can get into the minis. And let me tell you, folks, these are of a quality and a detail of the likes of which I don't think I have seen in a very long time, probably since the last Steamforge games. But the fact that they're all kind of this gray sort of primed really makes all of the detail pop. So let's bring it in close now. So first up, I thought we would just show off the dice real quick. As you can see on the highest number on each one of the dice, we have a little paw print here. Um, the same thing will be on all of the dice. I don't think it's on, it's not on the D4, uh, but it is on the D10s, it's on the D6, the D8s, and then again, let's be fine, on the uh, D20s as well. And they are a nice sort of purpley blue marbleized dice. You can see that here, very cool. All right, so we'll go ahead and remove those. Now, let's move on to the minis. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the names for any of these. If they have, I'm assuming they all have names, but let's just go ahead and take a look at the quality of these sculpts here. So this guy, here's some sort of bird, maybe an albatross or something. Look, can you see the detail on the chest? Like the little scroll pouches, the spell book, the wizard hat. I mean, look at this. These are phenomenal. I mean, you're gonna, like, I actually, like, I don't feel comfortable painting these myself because, like, there's so much intricate detail for me to screw up in the process of trying to paint these. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you thin your paints and do a good job, uh, you know. Or at least that's something that I would do. All right, so now we have some sort of ram here. Let's zoom ourselves out a little bit and tilt ourselves up. But, I mean, look at the detail on these. You see all the... The buckles and things on the horns. I mean, I just it just blows me away. Look at the sword down there. So nice. We have a lot to go through, folks. So bear with me here. Here we have maybe a hairless cat. Uh, I think hard to tell, but look at that. You got the daggers on the back there. Or at least a short-haired cat. This might be the rogue that we saw. Uh, that we mentioned in the previous stat blocks there. All right, here we have, I think this is another cat. And we might have to drop ourselves down a little bit. Sorry for the jumpy camera, but we're doing this live. Look at the wizard hat. You've got this sort of the staff on the back, the spell book. I mean, this is just too great. Okay, looks like we've got uh, a dog here with maybe a dog druid or something. You can see we've got this sort of plants. Uh, we sort of got like a leafy style armor with a leaf bottom there and the sort of uh, sort of grasping vine situation coming up holding our dog oh, up in the air here. All right, this next one is a llama, I think, or an alpaca. 
of some kind. Look at all the fuzzy hair and all like the little baubles and things hanging off. I mean, just the creativity of the folks from Steamforge Games on this. This might be, I don't know, I can't tell, maybe St. Bernard something. Right now, that's what I'm just thinking, but we've got all sorts of... Look at the detail on the fur on the tail. Like, so intricate. Like I said, intimidating in my, from my perspective to paint these. Right, so we've got another dog here. Um, with a, look, there's a bow, buckler, jumping up into the air there. Very cool. Right, this is an octopus in a bucket on like a wheelchair. An axe, he's got a lantern there. He's got a little dagger up in his little arm. Very cute. This must be Tusk, our pig barbarian we saw from before, right? And he's got his battle axe. His battle armor has got an axe on his back, great axe in his mouth. I don't want to mess with this guy. All right, this is a, I think this is a bunny. Like a bunny monk, maybe? maybe? He's jumping, he's got his jump kick going in the air there. He's got his staff on his back. That's pretty cool. And like some of these, the detail on such a tiny little mini, is this like a baby goat maybe? Look at how tiny that is. Like for reference, here was the rabbit I just showed you. Like look at how small. I mean, I, and here's for a frame of reference there, there's a D20 to give you a reference on the size on these guys. So some of these super high detail for such a tiny little mini. All right, this. Maybe a fox or a raccoon, maybe? Yeah, I'm saying to say raccoon, I'm stereotyping here because he's got a sack on his back, so he might be pilfering things. Um, this looks like another kind of a cat here. A flowing cloak. Got a sword or something there on our back. Yeah, well, it looks like maybe another cat or a raccoon, sort of a rogue style character. Long sword strung over the so over the shoulder there. Oh my god, so tiny. Look at this little guy. I don't even know what that is. Super cute. Uh, got another dog here. Maybe a husky, maybe? A little teddy bear, warhammer. I wonder if that was a chew toy, that teddy bear. Now this, I think, is a fox. Wielding some sort of, look at that, with like the fireball there. So cool. I, I, like I said, these are just the detail on these minis. This is a mouse. Climbing up the staff there, look at that. Like, I, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to back this Kickstarter because I want to see the stat blocks for all of these sentient animals. Um, although maybe terrier of some kind. All right, now this is an orangutan. Looks almost like an inventor style. Look at this. There's a, a mechanical toucan on his like back there. He's got. So this might be like an artificer style guy. This is a mechanical toucan pet. And this is our otter. Oh, we've got some scrolls there, chainmail armor, little fish down the bottom. Okay, we've got a couple more to go here. We got, this is like that one thing we saw the image of before, like the cat with the antlers and the little owl companion up there. I don't know if that's a headgear or like legitimate antlers growing out of that cat. Now this one seems a little out of place to me because it's like a humanoid, right? So it's like a Warforged style robot guy with a mechanical spider, top hat and cane. Some sort of hourglass staff there. Again, and then this one really, like this looks like a like an actual character, like some sort of orc or oni or something got horns maybe a tiefling 
look at the look at the detail on the cloak. And like, you know, got all this bandoliers, this cutlass, maybe a wand or a dagger there on the hip, but it just doesn't really fit in my mind with all of the sentient animals that we're seeing here. Right, here's our walrus. This guy's a little bit bigger than everybody else here. So we can see he or she or they have this like a glaive of some kind. Big backpack, we can see the stitch armor on the bottom, daggers on the side, very menacing stare from this walrus. And then lastly, coup de gras, my favorite one here is our bear with his bucket full of tentacle octopus here. You can see he's got some sort of harpoon on his back, but like a bandolier that has fish in it as well. Foot on top of a treasure chest with a pet crab. I mean, just epic. These minis are so great. So yeah, there, there you go, folks. That is all of the minis contained, I believe every single mini that you'll have inside the uh, Animal Adventures, the Faraway Sea contained from Steam Forge Games. Again, this goes live on Kickstarter on Tuesday the 20th. Like I said, I'll have a link in the description for the preview page if you wanna go pick this up. Uh, and yeah, I mean, like I said, the quality is absolutely there. It was an Albatross wizard, by the way. I saw it on their, their uh, it's, uh, yeah, so I, it just says bear for the bear. It doesn't have an actual name. Um, but yeah, I am super stoked about these minis. They look amazing. The quality is just, like like I said, almost unlike anything I think I've ever seen before. Uh, and, I mean, you really can't go wrong with these. And I, guess I didn't show this off, but, like, the bottom has, a, you know, a little logo, Seaforth logo and stuff on the bottom, which is really cool. Um... But yeah, I, I am a huge fan of these minis. I think you should definitely go ahead and check it out. Thank you to the Steamforge game team for sending these over for review. They're awesome. Uh, also for sponsoring this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will see you all next time.